All right, so we're going to go ahead and do our dental today. We went ahead and put on our protective gear. We have our gloves, we have our mask, and our face shield. Here's our dental machine. We have actually already checked it to make sure it was full of, well, sorry, full of water. And we just filled it up, and that looks good. We look like all the parts are actually adequate. All working well, so that's good. We went ahead and actually got out our hand instruments as well. We have our correct that, of course, is for the underneath the gum, so it doesn't actually hurt the gum. We have a hand scaler that's going to help us out with all our difficult tartar, and then we have our actual probe, and then we have our explorer. The probe is going to be able to see if we have any pocketing or anything of the gingiva itself. Before we get started with our cleaning, we're just going to look through our mouth right quick. Looks like he does have an issue with one of his teeth that we're going to evaluate on our dental x-rays first. But we're going to kind of just do a good kind of once over before we start cleaning. So we're going to go ahead and start with our cleaning itself. What we're going to do, usually we would break off any kind of thick tartar with some tartar pickers or some grabbers, but basically he doesn't really have any that needs to be done and I'm not going to mess with that right now. And so we're actually going to go ahead and use our ultrasonic scaler to get some of this off. The most important part of this, of course, is not to stay on the same place of the tooth or the same tooth for more than 10 seconds. So we also don't want to destroy the gingiva itself with the scaler. and try to get any kind of stubborn calculus on. We're going to take our caret gently. to make sure that we got all the stuff from underneath that gum on. We're now going to go ahead and polish the teeth. The major point about this is just like with the scaler, you do not want to stay in the same place for more than 10 seconds. We do want to make sure that we get all of the surfaces of the tooth that we have touched already with the scaler. What we're going to do is of course get the inside of these teeth whenever we flip them. That's it. And do our chlorhexidine rinse. We're lucky enough that this machine has it connected to the machine. And so once it goes through the tubes, we'll just do a gentle spray. We also want to clean out our that we're fixing to start working with. There we go. All right. Now that we're completely finished, we're going to probe one last time. Anytime we do that, we want to at least do it in four different spots. And we want to check our millimeters and make sure nothing is above four millimeters. Mm -hmm. All right, that's it. 